Oh, suit yourselves. All right, look. I like a drink. Roderick likes a drink. So if I'm going over to feed the cat or whatever, we'll have a few at Isn't Mary's. So that's what might have happened. 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 That's what happened. But that that doesn't mean good. Because I know how people might think if they saw me. How they'll twist it. How she'll twist it. So I'll come up, out the tube, turn left, stop at the shop at the top of Camway Road, pick up a whiskey. There's a specific type of whiskey he's asked me to pick up while she's away. And I go over to his expecting it just to be him and who answers the door, Mary. <laughs> Talk about a wasted journey. Feed your own flaming cat, pick up your own fucking whiskey. What did your last slave die of? But, um... None of that matters, because Mary, her, her face is all blown up. It's all fat and blue. And it's gone and beaten her right up. <laughs> Mary won't let us talk about that, will she? No, no, she's just like, oh, come on in, come on through. So, so, um... I go in, and he's just sat there in the corner where he usually is, watching the football, like nothing's happened. And he turns to me and goes, did you get it? Talking about the whiskey. And <laughs> I'm so, I'm so angry. And I'm still in shock, and I just... I just nod. I nod like a bloody idiot. Well, he says, Mary's going to bed in a bit, aren't you, Mary? And he's not asking her. He's telling her. Grab us a couple of glasses and we'll have a few. that Mary does what she told. And I'll go through to the kitchen. I think... I think... I think I'm not having this. I'm not having this. That is my sister. So I'm in the kitchen and I take down the poison on top of the fridge, the rat poison. And I pour myself a whiskey. And then I top I top the bottle up with poison. Sosh it about a bit. Take it through. And wait till it's done. Till the match is finished. <sighs> till he's on his knees, on the carpet, on his knees in front of the sofa and he's all choky and spluttering, he's trying to tell me something's wrong. And I'm like, I know something's wrong, mate, I know something's fucking wrong and you deserve it, quite frankly, because he does. He does fucking deserve it. Doesn't he? So I get up, I leave him there, I turn up the TV and I go upstairs to Mary's bedroom. And we just lay there, and we haven't done this since we were little.